Hello Gemini, this is your November forecast. So Geminis, this month there's a lot of focus for the beginning of the month on this fourth house of home. As Venus and Mars are there for the first, just over the first week, um, and Jupiter is going to be there for a year. So um, many of you may be feeling a certain restlessness. Now Geminis, by nature, you're restless, but these planets are going to add to a little bit more of that restless nature. So it may be that you need to plan a trip and get away or go on a short trip somewhere because Geminis do like short trips for a little bit of variety. Um, this is also about you possibly wanting to make some changes in your home area and also maybe expand your family expand your social circle, the people who uh, are friends who could feel like they are your family as well. And also Venus and Mars together in the fourth house, there could be um, some kind of a breakthrough maybe in a family situation, something that's maybe been difficult for a while, could have a breakthrough that's quite amicable and peaceful. Now on the 3rd of November, Mercury comes to join the Sun in your sixth house. So it's shining a light for you in this sixth house of work. Mercury there would indicate that this is a good time for communicating in the workplace, for communicating what's important to you. Um, it's also a good time for sending out applications, being very proactive um, with going after work that you want. It's also shining a light um, on this house of work. Maybe um, you want to change the direction in your work. This sun here for the first three weeks of the month could maybe show you that new direction for yourself. And also shining a light for you on the, it's also the house of health and well-being. And when the sun comes into that house, it's a wonderful time to really look at your well-being. So often you can get a boost in energy and good uh, feelings, good vibrations through your body at this time. Um, on the 9th of November, we've got Venus going into your fifth house. Yippee, is that a nice placement for Venus. The fifth house is about romance, and Venus is about love. So for those of you looking for romance from the 9th of this month, this Venus energy can certainly bring it to you. Um, we've also got um, on the 11th of the month, we've got a new moon happening in this sixth house. So a lot of focus um, for you here to do with health as well in this uh, sixth house. So new moon here, opportunity to create some new habits, some new ways of being with your physical body, maybe to look at new ways of keeping well, maybe to do a different kind of exercise, a different kind of breathing, a different kind of meditation, but something different connected with your physical well-being. Keep in mind that the body likes variety. Yes, if you eat the same thing all the time, it gets bored with that, doesn't like that. So it likes every couple of days a change. So see what new things you maybe can introduce into your diet as well that would make that new moon, make it just more interesting and uplifting. Also, look at new ways in which you may want to volunteer and help others in the community. That too may come up for you at the time of this new moon. Now on the 13th of the month, we've got Mars joining Venus in this fifth house. Venus and Mars together for much of this month, which is great for relationships. It bodes well. Mars is the masculine side, sometimes a little forceful. You see Mars has quite a, a phallic symbol there. And Venus, the softness, the gentleness of the feminine energy coming together. So great time, as I said, to get into a romance, but also a great time to get into a romance with yourself. You have to be able to love yourself. If you're treating yourself roughly, what can you expect from other people? So this is about filling your cup, your creative cup, the things that you enjoy, the pleasure, doing something cultural, doing something creative, doing something in your own business. These are all wonderful aspects for you for this month. Um, uh, Gemini's, sorry.
sorry Gemini's you're flummoxing me here a little um, on the 21st of the month we've got Mercury going here into this seventh house of relationship and on the 23rd the sun joins it and of course Saturn going to be there for quite some time but here we go um, this is really for some of you this can mean marriage time this can mean a proposal of marriage or a relationship becoming more serious relationship that's been started that you say okay yep yeah, I think it's time we'd like to live together we'd like to be together more permanently so there's an opportunity to somehow um, create more stability in a relationship Saturn is not necessarily a cold shoulder or or a wet blanket although it can be if it's a relationship that's toxic or unhealthy but equally if it's a good relationship it can bring fruition to that relationship especially as lovely Gemini's we've got a full moon happening in your sign on the 25th of the month so full moon here with all this activity in the seventh house so we've got a lot going on with relationships this month and this full moon Gemini's is shining a light on how you feel about you yes how do you feel about the way you present yourself the way you look the way others see you maybe you've been working on it and you're really happy with it and this full moon shines a light on it and you go yes I'm happy with my image I'm happy with the way I'm interacting with people but maybe equally this full moon shines a light on you and you say no I want to make some adjustments some changes and this full moon will show you where those changes it shines a light where those changes are going to be most beneficial for you to make them we're still in this waning square energy between Saturn and Neptune so there is a possibility for some of you that there will be a loss of a relationship or a relationship somehow just fading away tendency with Neptune is that it doesn't like Uranus just all of a sudden it's just fading away and you know maybe that it's just time to let go of something a particular relationship that's a possibility with that aspect so there you have it my lovely Gemini's lots of romance for you lots of relationship stuff coming up for you this month so could be a great month for all of that so I wish you lots of pleasure and joy with the Venus and Mars energy into that fifth house enjoy it and above all remember your humor your wit you're one of the wittiest signs of the zodiac you're often a joker so bring that into your everyday life and bring that lovely lightness that so many Gemini's have because we need that lightness in our world today we really do to balance out some of the other heavy things that we've been all dealing with so I wish you a great month thank you for commenting sharing subscribing and don't forget to look out for your 2016 forecasts. Bye for now.